Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Jaco Wissels and I'm the dude behind Web Nomads, a place where you can learn how to blog, create online stores, or even build a beautiful website for yourself. So today we are going to look a little bit at PayFast and how to integrate it or how to add them to stores. So today I'm going to show you actually how to add them to a Shopify store and I'm going to uh, go ahead and show you how to add it to WooCommerce. So both these platforms are uh, uh, great platforms to sell online right here in South Africa. And we all seem to love PayFast. So I got a lot of requests from people asking, well, how do you actually add PayFast so you can receive payments through your website? So today is that day. So I'm going to show you exactly how you can go ahead and do it. So I'm here at on the PayFast um, the main uh, the main page or the home page and if we scroll down a little bit the reasons why we love PayFast so much is because they have all different kinds of payment methods uh, payment methods like the Visa, Instant EFT, Masterpass, maybe create separate debit card and S code. So and if we go to fees you will see that actually being part uh, or uh, you know to have a subscription with PayFast is absolutely for free and they charge three and a half percent of credit card and so on and you can go all the way down to S code which is four and a half percent and then I do uh, they also charge eight rand 70 if you if you request a payout to your bank account so payouts is usually within 48 hours so if you have some money in your account and you want to uh, and you you need a payout before the weekend make sure you do it by Wednesday just wanted to add that all right cool so now if we if you are new to PayFast, you have to go to the sign up um, um, uh, screen right here and now you have to go ahead and actually add your email address your password and so on and choose a business type or individual so both these are required um, so or maybe let's put it a different way so both these account types you will need to add or to um, upload documents supporting documents to actually to enable PayFast to activate your account individuals is just normal stuff like your uh, account details your home address your id and um and so on and a business is obviously you need to add your registration address registration papers and so on also ID numbers your your proof of your id and address and all that kind of stuff so make sure if you go ahead and um create an account of payfast you've got all these documents ready but they will actually if you choose one of these and go ahead and sign up they will actually tell you which ones you need then you just upload those documents and then they will actually uh, um, go through those documents and then they will approve your account within a week or so so it is extremely easy and it's also free to do which is very nice so I have an account of PayFast the one that I've been running for a very long time and here is my dashboard so you can see here on the left is my merchant ID and also my merchant key these two are very important both for Shopify and WooCommerce so let's start with Shopify first so I'm here in my Shopify dashboard in one of my stores actually this store I built um, I recorded um, this whole process of, of how I built the store you can just go down in the description video I left the link there uh, to a video that will show you exactly how you can create an awesome looking online store um, and um, right here in South Africa so go ahead and check that video out but for now let's go to settings in settings you can see in the settings tab you'll see payments And then we have the first one here is Express Checkout. No need to worry about that for now. Then we are going to choose a third party provider. So in this page, you will see that PayFast is all the way to the top. This is just because my address and shipping address is in South Africa, and that's why it's all the way at the top. So if you scroll down, you won't find it at the bottom. This is obviously alphabetical. You won't find it at the bottom. So just, just look for it over here. So just go ahead and choose PayFast. Now, when you get on this screen, they will ask you a couple of things, and this is the this is the important step here. So first, I can ask you for PayFast Merchant ID, which is this one here, the Merchant ID right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy, and I'm gonna go ahead and paste. And then I can ask for the Merchant key, and this is this one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy, and I'm gonna go ahead and paste it. Then I'm going to go all the way down and say activate my PayFast. Mine just say reactivate uh, because it was activated 
uh, before. So, and that's how easy it is to add PayFast um, to your Shopify account. Literally, just two little numbers you have to go ahead and copy and paste and insert it. So now let's move on to work, uh, WooCommerce. So WooCommerce is basically just a, a shopping platform, f um, you know, on the on the on the WordPress um, on WordPress. So the if you install the plugin WooCommerce, you'll they will you will see the screen right here. So this is the onboarding process. So the new updated version of WooCommerce will let you do the onboarding, but they will not give you the option to actually add uh, PayFast like before. So just go ahead and say not right now. Then you'll see here on the left, just click on WooCommerce. And then you can go all the way down to payment settings. And now the thing here is if you don't see PayFast here is because we have to add our address to, um, to WooCommerce. So if we go and say help and say setup wizard and uh, the, and then they will going to ask you two questions. This is the new onboarding. You don't want to go for the new onboarding. You, you want to go for this one here, Setup Wizard. Take it back to the same screen. Yes, please. And then I'm going to ask you for your, your country. So country is obviously South Africa. South Africa. And then I'm just going to go ahead and say free fake street and the city is um, Durban and postcode is I'm not sure what is Durban it's postcode whatever the case can be and then continue okay let's just go ahead and continue then I can ask you for what are you selling fashion apparel Continue. Physical address, that's correct. Okay, and then you can just go ahead and continue. How many products you want to display? One to ten. Can't you sell anywhere else? No, no, I don't want to market on Facebook for now, but you can obviously, you can add these if you want. There's, I'm just un unclicking them for the tutorial purposes. I don't want a theme for now. Scroll all the way down. Skip this step. Okay, and also I don't want to add the enhance the store of Jetpack and WooCommerce services. No thanks. Okay, so basically, so they are going to pre-populate um, your st your WooCommerce settings with the information given. So let's go to set up payments. So and now you see PayFast right here. So that's how easy it is. So it's important not to go with the new onboarding process because you won't get to the same. You get, won't get the same result. All right, cool. Let's go to setup. Now it's installing WooCommerce for uh, PayFast. Now it's asking you for three things. So now they want a merchant ID, merchant key, and a passphrase. So remember, with Sh Shopify, we only had, we only needed the merchant key, the merchant ID, and the merchant key. So let's go ahead and get these two pasted. And now they ask you for a, pay for, uh, a passphrase. So let me show you where you can get that one. So you'll see this drop down here on the right and go ahead and click integration. And then say security passphrase and just go ahead and say add. And just remember to make it a capital letter and also a, um, a, a, a smaller letter and also make sure you add some Um, numbers in there. Just go ahead and say update. Now I have my new passphrase. So what I do here is copy that, go back to my store or my dashboard, and I paste that and I go ahead and say proceed. And that's it guys. Payment connected successfully. Payfast connected successfully. That is how easy it is to actually add Payfast to a 
a, a Shopify store and also how you can add it to WooCommerce. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you a lot. So if you don't mind, subscribe to the channel. I'll, every week or so, I bring out more videos like this one to show people right here in beautiful South Africa how they can build online stores, how to start blogs or even how to create beautiful websites um, you know they can they, they will love so hit that bell icon for future updates and also if you don't mind like this like this video it will help this channel uh, um, massively to to grow a little bit and um, yeah um, I will also uh, appreciate it a ton so thank you guys so go ahead add your pay fast and make a ton of sales cheers